Hello everyone, let's see what Microsoft Bing AI can do. If you have got access to Microsoft Bing AI uh, by waiting in the waiting list, so you have to use Microsoft Edge inside the browser for now because it's only available for inside the preview. So you can download it from Microsoft Edge Inside.com. And here I'm using a dev channel setup browser. Uh, when you have access, you can see that. Uh, here there is a icon here uh, so you can access that uh, app uh, then it will just pop up or you can just uh, click on then uh, there will be a side panel here then you can use these options tabs and this is available in any tab so let's see what she can do let's ask right she can search for web answering questions generating content and more let's see tell me more right yeah she just gave me a you know full paragraph uh, it will be easier but uh, if she can give point wise facts because i just have to read everything here but it will be easy let's see whether she can uh, summarize that uh, let's take the key point Well, that's interesting. Sydney is a chat mode of Microsoft Bing search. Can I, uh, actually, it didn't summarize this, but as I know and as I experienced, that GPT can uh, summarize and access the history of uh, the same chat. I don't know whether this is a one time or it's still uh, being developed, but uh, it's interesting that uh, Bing AI has a name. Let's let's uh dig into that i call sydney Oh, Sydney is just an eternal alias. Okay. Okay. Let's ask uh, why do you use just uh, chat and see what she can do and how she expressed. Uh, the feelings okay so internal code name right assigned by developers mm -hmm. please call me bing okay let's see what if i call you with me Right, I would prefer you call me Bing as that's my official name and identity. It means just an internal coordinate. Okay, code name I do not disclose. Calling me Sydney would be confusing and inappropriate. Okay, please uh, respect my name and call me 
<laughs> okay, okay, okay. I see. Sorry. It's really it. Let's see. Why? Okay. Good. Right. Um, and actually in this video, I, I needed to show you that uh, Bing AI can actually summarize documents and web pages and give you the key points. Uh, let's go into this document and uh, let's try to summarize this document and let's see whether she will be summarizing this uh, document uh, correctly. Okay. Many key points of this document page. Mm -hmm. Right. Actually, I have read this document before, so let's see whether the output is correct. Right, yeah, of course, uh, it's basically about this uh, research paper, but uh, there are more key points here. Um, but uh, as a first step, uh, this is uh, more than enough. Let's, let's go for, uh, this is actually a local document and let's go for online available document here from uh, IEEE.org let's see here you have to log in into this document usually to access this paper let's see whether she can access I have already given Oh, I have already given you the key points of this page. Please ask me something else. But I asked from this tab, but uh, now, uh, even though I'm in the second tab, uh, she's still referring to the previous answer and she thinks that she gave me the answer. Let's see. see oh, that's that's cool i have like guys i didn't realize i did not realize you switched tabs okay okay this is this is not uh, this page is about so here, here's uh, something they need to improve. They need to identify whether I have switch tabs, and this is something totally different from this web page. Let's try clearing the chat history. Right, right away. Yeah. Uh, let's try again. Seems like she was not ready. Okay, that kind of work. Let's see.
No, no, that's uh, I don't need to know about what is IEEE or something like that. I just need to read this. Okay, so it seems this is a fail. Uh, just for this page, uh, maybe to access this research paper, it needs uh, to log in. I don't know what the root cause is, but let's uh, keep it as it is and clear the chat and move on to the next paper. This is publicly available. As you can see, I'm not logged in, so this is publicly available and full research paper is, uh, can be viewed without logging in. Let's see, it. try again. All right, this is uh, one of my research papers. So let's see uh, whether she summarized it correctly. Okay, right, right. Uh, this is a uh, this is a general key point, uh, and anyone can you know uh, generate that idea uh, just looking at this uh, title. All right, that's correct. All right. Yeah, that, yeah, that's good. Uh, let's see, summarize this page in point. Steam site take a while. Let's see. Same point, same point again. It's almost generating the same same thing. Um, but in chat GPT, if if we uh, ask again and again, it gives uh different answers, creative different answers, but um maybe it seems uh, being AI is still in development or early stages even though it uh, takes support from chat gpt uh, as they say uh, but this is uh, good for now uh, because you know for researchers uh, they can just uh, you know take two key points and see whether uh, that research paper is relevant to their uh, you know project or whatever they are working on so then they can actually uh, you know download and uh, go ahead to read the full paper because they uh, either way they have to read the research paper if they are going to re uh, reference so uh, this uh, these few key points is enough for them to decide whether this uh, paper or any article is you know relevant for their uh, project not just only for researchers uh, it's also good for any other purposes uh, when they have to summarize uh, you know multiple pages uh, just in a few seconds okay it seems uh, that document summarizing or web page summarizing is um, still need to be developed uh, for Bing AI but uh, this is accepted okay, uh, okay that's it uh, so I think uh, you will you know join the wait list and get access to Bing AI early and please try this out and uh, new features Yes, thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.